All right, guys, today we'll review a portfolio and this portfolio comes from my community. Uh, you can check it out by clicking the second link in the description. And I think this is pretty cool because I don't have to go through LinkedIn and uh, scour the internet to find projects. And uh, I think the advice that I'm going to give to Abel here uh, is going to be quite valuable for him and for you as well. If you want to become a web developer and you don't want to waste your time trying to, to do it the wrong way. So there is the wrong way, which is what most people do and what Abel is doing as well. You will see that in a second. And then is the right way, which is going to work. Okay, so I'm going to try to put Abel on the right path. Then it's up to him if he wants to follow this. And uh, let's get into the video. Okay, this is his app. Basically, he used the Merge stack. He's very kind and he let me sign up to his app with a test email and a test password. He knows how much I hate signing up for stuff, okay? So right, right now I actually signed in, so let me just sign out. Just to start out, this looks very wacky, okay? Just to be completely honest. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, one, two, three, sign in. Uh, the, the UI looks very wacky. That's what makes him a junior, okay? Juniors write code but in 2024 when you have so many resources available and i'm going to share with you a couple of resources you cannot just write some code okay even though it's cute and whatnot you need to stand out so this app is all about uh, i guess tracking your calories and your workouts so i'm gonna see if i can actually figure out how to do that so as you can see the user experience is quite bad um, add a meal, okay. Meal type, breakfast, meats, chicken breast. But what if I ate 200 grams of chicken breast? What'd you do? Uh, spinach, okay, log meal. Okay, so what happened here? So I had 24 grams of protein kale so i think i ate kale right as you can see the ui is super non-intuitive okay the user experience is horrible and that's okay okay whenever i make fun of you i'm not really making fun of you i'm just showing you how a user feels when they use your app okay so here's the thing you do not need to reinvent the wheel you can google a few applications that are made to track uh, calories okay so one of them is called my fitness pal calories let's see calories tracking app we have lose it we have fat secret chronometer noom right there are so many applications and what you shouldn't do as a beginner is try to recreate the wheel don't do that okay great artists steal but they steal ideas okay you don't have to steal something one-to-one -one. you do that when you're a beginner right when you first learn how to replicate user interfaces and whatnot you steal like literally everything but then you steal ideas so what i'm going to recommend him to do is to stop working on this app for a moment and to take a google sheet or a google doc like this docs.new and I want you or Abel to create some sort of user journey for example as a user I want to track my calories okay as a user I want to be able to input the types of foods I'm eating as a user I want to choose the quantity of each food right and so on and so forth why am i saying this because he doesn't let me do that okay if i go to add meal i can choose for example breakfast right then meats chicken breast but i can only choose 100 grams what if i ate 250 grams i have no way to alter this and this app is kind of forcing me to stop using it okay so that's the first thing that i would do now I would spend maybe one hour, two hours, like just filling out this document. And you would think that, hey, this is boring and this is useless. And I understand that, but that's the reason why you'll never be successful with this. 
The most important part really is the thinking before doing. My father always told me before smacking me, um, he said, look at this pen, look at the way you hold it. Think about why are you holding it like this and not in a slightly different way. Always think about what you're doing. Think about the material that you're using. Think about the thing that you want to get. Reverse engineer that process. How did one thing came up to be in this way? This type of thinking is gonna help you out massively in your career. The way this application looks like, it's absolutely horrendous. Uh, and again, he's a beginner and it's not his fault, but it's his problem, okay? Because it looks like it's been made in 2002, even though he's using Tailwind. So as you can see, using modern technologies is not gonna guarantee that you'll actually create a modern application. And again, it's not his fault, but it's his problem. So how can we fix this? Well, I found this guy called Mark Lou on Twitter and he sells this uh, thing called ShipFast, okay? And this thing costs, let's see, $200, okay? And this is gonna be like a starter pack for you, okay? So you'll have like all your authentication figured out, you'll have your styling figured out, you'll have like the database figured out, the emails, everything is gonna be done for you and you can just focus on building these features here. And then when you do that, you create a beautiful application and then you put it on your resume and then you start applying. Because this shows me that he's not ready yet for a job. Probably he doesn't think he's ready, right? But I'm assuming that he thinks he's ready. He's not gonna be successful with this. He needs more time to develop this, but this is the right type of application that he should focus on from now on, okay? My friend, Abel, spend the next three to six months working on this. It doesn't matter like what your brain says, like, oh, I should work on something else, or maybe this idea is better. No, ideas are not better, is what you do with them. It's like the execution is what matters, okay? So this thing, uh, ship fast, is gonna help you out massively, 100%. I'm not affiliated with a guy at all. I'm not making any money. I don't have an affiliate link. I always recommend stuff that I think will help you, even though I'm not getting paid from it. This is good. Uh, another thing that you could check out is Lexington Themes. Again, I always recommend this guy. I bought this theme Navy for my website. You can click on the first thing in the description and you can see it. I adapted it to my website, to my style, to my needs, uh, because I'm not a designer, okay? I don't know this stuff. so. I'm buying stuff from people that know what they're doing. And he can take one of these themes, use, use this theme to build the application, okay? Like, just check this out. Let's just look at the live demo, right? Just taking this, bits and pieces from this, and implementing it, implementing them in this app, is gonna take his results from here to here, like, in a matter of days. Again, this is the easy way out and you should take this easy way out. I'm not making any money from you doing this. I hope you understand this. I'm really trying to help you out. So please do this, do yourself a favor, buy a couple of these things, save yourself a lot of headaches and become a professional in this, okay? So by the way, buying any of these things is not gonna sub substitute you doing the hard work, aka writing the code and doing this type of research and the definition of the problem that I recommend you to do, um, that's only gonna help you out, okay? But at the end of the day, your results and, or lack thereof are in your hands, okay? I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.